Hello and welcome to Shadows Chronicles. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a couple of universities in the US and in Canada that offer full funding opportunities for a master's and or PhD in computer science. So if you're interested in pursuing a master's or, you know, PhD in computer science, this video is for you. Keep watching because you're going to find out about this fully funded opportunities. And as always, I'm going to share my screen just so you can see that I'm getting the information directly from the university's website. I did not make this up, okay? And also, remember that this list is not in any way exhaustive. There are so many opportunities out there for you to take advantage of. You just have to be able to, you know, go online and do that research and before we dive right into this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up okay like and subscribe to this channel if you're watching without subscribing and also share this video with others that might find it awful even if you're not interested in computer science so let's check out the schools First up on our list is Virginia Tech. Now Virginia Tech right here, it says that during the 2020 to 2021 academic year, over 90% of Blacksburg research track graduate students were on full-time support. And depending on the funding source, that typically means a 20 hour per week work obligation as a graduate teaching assistant or graduate research assistant. And GTAs and GREs include tuition, most fees, and a stipend of about $2,200 to $2,500 per month for nine months. And this page provides more information about the funding opportunities available for master's thesis and PhD students at Virginia Tech. And right here it says that master's thesis and PhD students will receive departmental support in their first year can normally expect to receive continued support during the remainder of their course of study, typically two years for master's and four or five years for PhD as long as their job performance and degree progress are good. So definitely check out Virginia Tech if you're interested in a master's and or PhD in computer science. Next, we have the University of Toronto in Canada, and right here it says that we offer a funding package to all of our full-time research stream students. The package is composed of a research assistantship and teaching assistantships. This provides funding for the cost of living and for the cost of tuition. And here is a breakdown of the guaranteed funding. So for MS, you're funded for 17 months. PhD will transition from the MSc program. You're funded for 43 months. PhD with master's completed elsewhere, you're, you'll be guaranteed funding for 48 months. And PhD with direct entry from a bachelor's degree will be guaranteed funding for 60 months. And here is the basic funding package. So for Master of Science, for international students, your package coverage would be $60,000 plus. Domestic is $38,000 plus. And for the PhD, it is around $40,000 plus for both domestic and international. Right here is the breakdown of everything they cover and they provide more information about other awards available to prospective students in the Department of Computer Science at the University of Toronto. So I highly encourage you to check this out. Next, we have the University of Alberta, also in Canada, and says right here that each year, the Department of Computing Science provides financial support for a number of thesis-based students, emphasis on the thesis-based students, in the graduate program in the form of teaching and research assistantships. And it says that course-based students are self-funded, so basically you only be funded if you are a thesis based student, which would be like the MSc thesis track and the PhD program. And they continue to hear that this assistantships are designed to cover the cost of tuition and living expenses in Edmonton and are available to MSc students for up to the first five terms and for PhD students up to the first 11 terms, subjects to satisfactory academic performance and satisfactory performance of duty. 
and the total annual financial support for students holding the teaching and research assistantships varies. And at this time, at the time it was written, I don't know exactly when, it is 25,000 plus for a full-time MSc student and 26,000 plus for a full-time PhD student. Remember, these values are in Canadian dollars. And they also provide more information about some other scholarships and awards as well. So I encourage you to check out the University of Alberta. Next, we have the University of Iowa in the US. And right here, it says that all our PhD students receive teaching or research assistantships that cover tuition and additionally provide a stipend for living expenses. This support is guaranteed for a minimum of four years, giving good academic standing. And in recent years, many of our MCS students have also been funded through teaching or research assistantships. And several scholarships and fellowships are also available for graduate students of the computer science department. So I highly encourage you to check out the University of Iowa. They have a plethora of funding opportunities for PhD and MCS students in computer science. Next, we have the University of British Columbia. And if we scroll a bit down on this MSc page, yes, to this section right here, it says that full MSc students will be supported at 6,333 Canadian dollars and 33 cents per term for their first two terms. After that, students writing an MSc thesis will be paid 7,000 plus per term after the first two terms, which amounts to like $20,000 taxable stipend in the first year and $22,000 taxable stipend in the second year. MSc students pursuing the breath essay option will continue at the initial rate, which amounts to $19,000 taxable stipend per year. And the funding package consists of any combination of internal or external awards, teaching related work, research assistantships, and graduate academic assistantships. And CS students are expected to apply for fellowships or scholarships to which they are eligible. So something to definitely check out here. This is the funding package available to master's students in computer science at the University of British Columbia. And for PhD students, we scroll a bit down as well. Right here. It says that all full-time PhD students will be provided with a funding package of at least $24,000 for each of the four years of their PhD program. And the funding package consists of any combination of internal or external awards, teaching-related work, research assistantship, and graduate academic assistantships. So definitely check out the University of British Columbia. Next, we have Southern Illinois University Carbondale. And right here it says that many qualified graduate students in computer science receive financial support in the form of teaching or research assistantships. Appointments are normally made on a half-time basis, committing the students to 20 hours of work per week. And the stipend associated with such assistantships is approximately $1,400 per month for half time appointment. In addition, tuition fees are waived. And in addition to assistantships, a limited number of graduate fellowships are available to academically superior students. Graduate fellowships provide a stipend of approximately $1,400 per month along with a tuition waiver. No duties are required of graduate students holding fellowships. So definitely check out Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Next up, we have the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And right here, it says that financial aid is available in the form of teaching assistantships, research assistantships, and fellowships. There are no forms to fill out to request financial aid for the department. And the majority of admitted doctoral students are offered either RAs or TAs. 
Admitted MS students are automatically considered for merit-based TAs and will be notified by the graduate program director if they receive one. Other sources of support such as IRAs are available as individual faculties, funding permits, and students need to contact individual faculty for IRA openings. So I encourage you to check out the University of Alabama Birmingham if you are interested in a master's and or PhD in computer science. Next, we have the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and right here says that starting in fall 2020, Granger Engineering PhD students in their first five years of enrollment are guaranteed a funded appointment for fall and spring that includes a full tuition waiver, a partial fee waiver, and a stipend. And in case you're confused, Grangian Engineering houses the computer science program. See right here at the top of the screen, the Granger College of Engineering, and then you see the computer science right here. So you'll be fully funded as a PhD student if you are admitted into the computer science program. And also for MS students, we'll scroll a bit down right here, it says that um, in this section right here with the assistantship, it says many of our MS with thesis students are also funded and they are funded by teaching or research assistantship, which provide a stipend and a full tuition waiver. And there are also other fellowship opportunities as well. It says the applicants to Illinois Computer Science graduate program are automatically considered for fellowships from the department, Granger Engineering and Graduate College based on the strength of their application materials. So another school for you to check out right here. Next, we have the University of Calgary. And at this institution as well, says right here, the Department of Computer Science provides a minimum funding of $24,000 per year for both PhD and MSc thesis-based students. The funding is guaranteed for a period of two years for MSc and a period of four years for PhD students. The funding is a mixture of graduate assistantship, teaching, supervisor support, and scholarships and in addition to the above funding international graduate students receive departmental differential fee award to help them pay their visa differential tuition fee so another school for you to check out right here university of calgary next we have the university of saskatchewan and right here it says that all applicants to a computer science graduate program are automatically considered for financial support msc students are funded at the rate of 21,500 canadian dollars per year for the first two years of their program and PhD students normally receive $24,500 Canadian dollars per year for the first four years of their program. And furthermore, they only accept international graduate students for whom they can provide at least this funding a month, except in special circumstances. So another university for you to check out right here, the University of Saskatchewan, if you're interested in computer science. And last on our list for today is Cornell University. And right here says that students who are admitted into the program, we're referring to the MS in CS program right now. Students who are admitted into the program serve as full-time teaching assistantships during each of the four semesters. This involves a 15-hour commitment to TA duties each week, and in exchange, students receive full tuition and stipend to cover basic living expenses and health insurance. And for the PhD program, if we scroll down to the funding section, yep, right here, it says that all PhD students in computer science are fully supported during the academic year as long as they remain in good academic standing. Support from Cornell includes tuition, health insurance, and stipend. And support is available in the form of teaching assistantships, research assistantships, 
and fellowships and there's more information about the coverage for previous years here that you can always check out on your own and with this last institution we've come to the end of this video i really hope you find this helpful and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching without subscribing and don't forget to share with others that might find it helpful as well have a great week ahead whenever you're watching bye